Kelly Cadigan has finally come out as a center-right conservative. I guess we shouldn't be surprised, given that she's being instant-boosted by self-hating trans folk like Buck Angel and defend slavery. I think that intro is self-explanatory and says enough about her as a person, but I'll go on. She's the epitome of a pick-me, a trans woman who has risen to the position and popularity, and with that comes wealth, to the point where she feels the need to exercise the only for me, not for thee, you know, a sort of know your place kind of person. I'm sorry, sweetie, but that's not how the world works. Trans people needs to li need to liberate ourselves from the chains of oppression, not play into it or submit to certain standards. It's easy for you because you're passing, but what does that say for the rest of us? You call people predators for wanting trans youth to have gender-affirming care, or at least have access to it. You called a non-binary trans femme a predator on her live stream for advocating that, the same one where you defended slavery and admitted that no scientific study or scientific evidence would ever convince you otherwise, meaning that your mind is made up and you prefer to live in your own bubble of ignorance and confirmation bias. You talk about facts over feelings, which by the way is a fascist dog whistle. It's funny how fascist sympathizers such as yourselves are quick to emphasize your own feelings over actual scientific facts as long as your facts pandered to your confirmation bias. Do those facts have to be truthful or accurate? The answer in your case seems to be a very vocal and resounding hell no. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Thank you.